At the time of recording, we've just had Lair of Flame start up, and I know a decent chunk of people that I talk to fairly regularly were waiting on this event, expecting the Daenerys weapon to be introduced through this, since it's been in the game for a decent length of time now, with the same effect. So people felt it was about the time for it to finally be put into the game, because you of course have the Cersei weapon, you got the Baelish weapon, the Jon weapon, so it was a fairly natural progression to gradually release the F5 commanders before going on to anything else, but we've actually seen the Dana weapon be added into the game instead of Daenerys. But the topic of this Daenerys weapon had me thinking recently, because it is a very desired item. Like, this damage coefficient increase at just base is so big and significant, so if I find her awakening ability here, just to easily show this. You see here it's, you summon one allied dragon to attack, it does a 50% damage coefficient against all enemies, that is a very important part of this, because that means all lineups, so if you're rallying into someone with infantry, cavalry, spearmen, and bowmen, it will hit all of them, rather than just the front line, which causes this to do ridiculous amounts of damage. I mean, I can show some examples from this most recent KVK, I think we had a few rallies from Joseph about 17 hours ago, if I can find this. But uh, where are they? I will cut to this, because this took me way too long to find. But you can see here, four-star Danny there, and at one second in the battle record, kills about 350,000 troops, and that's pretty consistent throughout all these reports, about 400,000 troops there. So in these rallying situations, that Daenerys 4-star is already doing huge amounts of damage, and just unlocking this weapon to base triples that damage on all lineups. So here this would have done 1.2 million dead troops immediately at one second of the fight, which is mental, especially because it's at one second, so you're reducing the amount of troops they have immediately, so they're then doing less damage onto you. That causes you to do more damage, and it just has a snowballing effect from there. So that being the improvement at base is why people are so intrigued and interested in this being released, because Daenerys is probably the most owned, I'd say, 4-star F5 commander because of her flexibility. She's obviously amazing for all female synergies. You can run her in weakness, because she'll still cast her dragon ability, she'll still cast her disarms. She doesn't really lose any functionality, she just has a bit less of it because of the no additional reprocs of her active, because there's no Layla there. She's also not terrible for bleed either. She loses all the active damage and disarming part of her ability, but her dragon will still hit at one second, which will do a lot of damage. And she has very, very good stats also. So you can pretty much run her in anything. So a lot of people's first... 4-star F5 commander, if they have one of course, this is a very very high budget, but it's quite often Daenerys in my experience, and because of that a lot of people are waiting on this item to be released. The part that I don't think has been given enough attention is this second part with how the disarm changes with the levels of the weapon. So obviously we can't see the intervals at 1-star, 2-star, and 3-star of this, since it isn't released into the game yet. But we can see it at 4-star four, four from clicking that. And the way it changes the disarm at 4-star is so ridiculous. I feel like this will totally change the meta of the game at whale levels. And I will explain why you can. Probably just skip to the timestamps near the end of the video to quickly see the, the conclusion of this. But I'm going to explain it all in depth with mathematical analysis just to prove my point so you can tell i'm not bullshitting you if you want to sit through that so at the whale level the most common build right now is bleed inf you see it a lot with a lot of the top accounts and the likes of fdh and in debt in bdr in m a lot of these top whale accounts are running bleed inf just because of how strong it is there's been a slight adjustment where 
monocav with female is starting to be a bit more popular. We're currently in AC season, or UC season more specifically, and female is a bit tricky for building holding, so you don't see it as much there. But monocav female in live PvP uh, situations is becoming very good to counteract that. But when you actually math out the effect of this disarms when it gets upgraded, even putting aside the ridiculousness of the damage increase of the dragon attack, it sort of works as like a Kevin effect towards bleed in how much damage it will reduce. And I'll show you in reports what I mean. So I have one. By the way, this is my private Discord. This is all my logins and passwords and stuff. This is not a community Discord. It's just me and her. I get a lot of people asking to join this. Everything I do in here is specifically for videos, so there's nothing in here which you can't see on my channel anyway. Yeah, I don't have a community Discord or anything. For those that are thinking of asking, I feel like I keep saying this, but I keep getting asked. So, so I have all the specifics of her 4-star, her weapon at base, and her weapon at 4 stars. So, as some general background information, 4-star Daenerys will use her active 5 times in a fight. The default commanders will do this 4 times, but because of her cooldown reduction, as shown here, army skill cooldown is reduced by 3 seconds. This is 5 times at base, and she's also the only commander which will gain an additional active casting when Salma is present. Again, due to how her different active cooldown changes when those actives are casted because it means the last active proc will cast at 39 seconds i believe it is yeah it says it here whereas normal commanders will be queued to cast at 41 seconds and it just doesn't happen so since this is a very whale uh specific discussion i have all the values of what layla weapon will do to the average values of active castings of female commanders so here, if you're running 4-star Daenerys with a 4-star Layla, with a 4-star Layla weapon, with Salma, so a full female composition, you will, on average, mathematically, have 12.54 active casts from Daenerys each fight. There are all the specifics of when these will be casted. And then there's some general background information here. So we don't know yet if the disarm can reproc on the same second with Layla reprocs, it's impossible to tell right now, because as I said, you can only look how Daenerys currently works, which is targeted at the opposing lineup, whereas the weapon totally changes it when it's starred to target random front row enemies, which is a very different interaction, and Marjorie, which is a similar random disarm effect, can reproc multiple times in the same second, which is the closest frame of reference we have to this, so I'm going to assume that Layla can reproc the disarm effects on repeated active castings. And as it says here, there are five lineups and fights last 40 seconds. So there's 200 seconds to target disarms at throughout a fight. In practice, it won't be that because of movement times, but mathematically, just as a frame of reference, that is what I'm going to use. But when accounting for that movement time, something like Danny with weakness, where you're not casting at one second into like a dead zone with no normal attacks. Danny with weakness will actually be better than is mathematically listed because of the uptime because of that. So that's just something to keep in mind. There is an 80% proc rate. So you've got to, when you figure out the maths, uh, times it by 0.8. Disarms last seven seconds on two lineups. So when mathing this out, it will be 14 seconds of disarms per active cast from Danny. And with Layla, that average value will be increased by the additional Layla reproc. So a four-star Layla weapon is the value listed here. Each Danny proc will theoretically be the equivalent of 29.26 seconds of disarms, which is insane. And then this is just for the specifics of the maths. So here are, here are the maths, and you can probably immediately see what's bolded and realize why this is so ridiculous. So when you math it out with female, which is assuming the Salma proc, it's assuming the 4-star Layla weapon, and accounting for this, when accounting for the lowered uptime on the 6th casting also, because it will disarm again at 39 seconds, but the fight will end at 40, so you'll only have 1 second to actually gain effectiveness from that. 
this maths out to 150.48 seconds of the maximum of 200 seconds being disarmed, then when accounting for the RNG, it goes down to 120 seconds of the 200 total seconds. And that is over 60% of opposing normal attacks. And this is why I compared it to, to Kevin against weakness. Because this weapon alone is going to nuke bleed damage to such a ridiculous degree that it will sort of be impossible to win against someone with this if you're a bleed inf player. Unless you just have the most absurd statistical difference over your opponent, which I don't think you will if someone has a 4-star Daenerys weapon. Uh, for weakness, which is another issue of this, because if it's just female, that's fine. Like Female has disarms already. They counter bleed. That's just how the synergies work. Similar to how bleed can counter weakness through Kevin. The issue is Daenerys can be ran in literally anything. So every... Bow whale will have Daenerys, every female whale will have Daenerys, every weakness whale can at least run Daenerys. It, there can be some decisions to make, maybe if you're like Mono Spear, you could have Dana there, you could have Baelish there, but with this weapon, she will be so top tier that even, I'd say, Mono Spear weakness players would want to run Daenerys, particularly if you can get the stars on the weapon, since it will mitigate your counter, which is bleed because of Kevin to such an, a crazy degree, it will just put you in a lot less losing situations. So with weakness, if you're taking Layla out of it, so it's now 14 seconds per, per proc rather than the 29.26 value we had up here, even then, even when accounting for the RNG of the 80% proc rate, it's still over 50 seconds of disarm effects, which is over a quarter of normal attacks. And all of Bleed's damage comes from normal attacks, because all the crits come from normal attacks, and through that all the Bleeds come from normal attacks. So you're basically reducing Bleed's damage by this, or by this, or anywhere in between. And of course it'll be lower with the lower, weapon, lower stars on the weapon. But at the very, very top level, I really do think this will be a meta-changing addition to the game, because every alternative build to bleed, which is currently the most popular thing, can run this, and it will cripple bleed's damage output so much that it really might force things to shift in a, in a different direction meta-wise. This is, of course, assuming this weapon isn't changed before release, because it isn't actually in the game yet. But the difference this makes compared to the other F5 commander weapons, like Baelish, well, what do you get with Baelish? It goes from a 50% proc rate to a 65% proc rate, and you decrease the health a little bit as well. That is a very small improvement compared to reducing Bleed's damage by 60%. <laughs> that is not even remotely in the same ballpark as that at all. Same with John, like what do you get here? You gain an additional 5% damage reduction, and your crits do 30% more damage. Once again, that's those are very small incremental additions compared to all of this. Because this is just the damage reduction part. This isn't accounting for the dragon damage tripling also at, at base. You saw in those reports I showed at the start, this alone can be getting you into the millions of additional kills just from the weapon being unlocked. In those reports I showed, it would have increased damage by 800,000 dead on those targets. I mean, they weren't close fights or anything. They were very imbalanced in terms of stats and accounts. But I, I truly do believe when you take into account the dragon damage increase on top of the disarm changes, the whale meta with Bleed Inf being the top build, is going to change if Daenerys' weapon is added into the game in the state it's currently listed at in the weapon list on the live game right now.